Hi everyone, Brett here, High Altitude Scale Miling. Today something a little different. I'm resetting my bench using the Hobby Zone module workstation setup. As you can see, I'm about halfway there. I got some more to build that came in today. Plus I've got paint ones over there for my AK range. And I've got brush one there and a brush one there. Today I'm going to show you a little bit we will build one of them for you so you can see how it is. It's not difficult. We have a new one that came out that I just got. It's got the brushes and tools can go in sideways instead of up and down. So I'm going to give that one a shot. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. So I'm going to make it curve around like this one does. It'll come to about here. The iMac will sit on top of it there. My second monitor is already sitting on top of there. So it's going to be all neat and organized. It's kind of chaotic now because everything's waiting to be moved. So give me a second. Let me change camera angles. All right, we're back. This is the one we're going to be doing. Holds brushes, holds sprue cutters, players tools there. Lay things down. There's another picture without all the lines in it. You need wood glue, which I'm using Gorilla Wood Glue. You need a hammer to pound in the uh, magnets and the magnets do have north-south poles don't make the mistake I did where you put ones you want stacked you put two north poles in there and they repel then you gotta take them out and that's no fun alright so this is the box that comes in got little pictures on it I have opened it Comes wrapped nicely in bubble wrap, wood pieces. Take everything out of the box. Here's the dowel, the magnets. Set the box aside. Now there's no real detailed instructions. It tells you where the panels all go. What I find first is just like modeling dry fit. So, this one's the bottom. The side sits here, maybe, and then this side sits here, this goes in the middle, and then this one goes in the front. And after putting so many together, I realized dry fitting makes gluing easier at the end. One there, one there, and you've got, oops, I got this one backwards. That's another reason you dry fit, because you want the slots going angled this way. that. This one's going to say the big holes go at the bottom. So I'm going to put that one in there and then put that in there. And then, same on this one. Now when I'm gluing it, I'll glue both of these at the same time. Okay, that's done. The dowel sits in here. The back, as you can tell, you can only goes one way, so it's like that. The top and yeah I would put the back on last.
Now, why isn't it cooperating? Again, another reason why we dry fit. Okay, and then this I would put on last just by sitting it on there, pulling it into place. Probably put some weight on it to hold it down because it is kind of bendy, as you can see. So this will go on last after everything else is assembled. It looks like this one completed. Alright, so this is going to be a top piece of my setup. So I'm only going to sit, put magnets in the bottom. So I'm going to take this all back apart. And actually, yeah, it's pretty sturdy. If I didn't want to glue it, it would all fall apart on me eventually. And I've had that happen. So, top. Side, side, middle. So, I am going to want magnets on the bottom and in the sides. Best way I found to do that, keep them stacked up. Take your little hammer, get them started. And yes, they're going to stick to your hammer. And then make them flush. Get them started. Make them flush. So whatever piece you build to sit next to it, because these don't have north-south written on them, you're going to have to like the piece that I put under this, I'm going to have to put under it with the magnets like this. So they stick. Because if I try to do it this way, they'll repel, which I've done before. So it's important that you line up your magnets, how you're going to put everything together. Okay, so what I would do first is put in the center piece, glue it into place. So I put glue, and it doesn't require a ton of glue, but you got to make sure where your glue points are on the sides. And the sides, put it in. Let the glue spurt out. Take a Q-tip slash cotton bud. Put it along the side. Clean up the glue. There you go. All done. Then, I would put these on. So again, a bit of glue. I put it on the back side. And then down along in here, here. And it took several tries of me assembling these before I finally found a good way. And I put a little to go down in there. And then again. Q-tip slash cotton bud. And the glue on the inside is not such a worry. It's the glue on the outside, depending on how you are about how anal you are about your appearance. Make sure parts like this are the same size, because sometimes you get taller ones that would need to go in front and slam things down. But these are the same size. And I should have done that one on the front. Down in there. Nice bite. Pushes together. Same on this one. And use a relatively good wood glue. Or you could probably use super glue. 
It just Gorilla Wood Glue works really well. I bought these from Hobby Zone USA in America, or you can get it from Hobby Zone PL in Poland. They are made in Poland. So. Now, what I think I might do with these is glue these into here. And then glue these into here and then tilt it over. And again, this took a lot of time and patience the first several I built, some of them have windows in wrong. Some of them fell apart. Now those are in there. Give them a minute to bite. But I'm also going to glue this part. Put glue on here. Here and here. If you're doing this with super glue, be careful you don't glue it to the bench. Wood glue won't glue to the mat. Super glue will. So, this in here. You want to do this before everything dries so it's still flexible and the, the sides are still flexible. Okay, I'm going to line them up. Push that down. Then I'm going to put some glue on here. Oops. And you can do this, put it on your finger. It's just wood glue. So that one's going to go there, that one's going to go there, and they're going to go together. Make sure that's pushed down. Make sure everything's glued together. Take another Q tip. Clean up the edges where you see glue you don't like. Okay. Dowel. I don't think I'm going to glue the dowel in. I'm going to let it be flexible. Which means, let's go on the sides there. This part's next. And if you find your dowel is too flexible, you can just stick a little super glue in there and turn it around. So it's going to go there. Oops, before I do that, I'll put a little glue here. Okay, those are in there, those are in there. Stand this up straight. Could bite a little bit. Clean up the glue in this groove. And this glue will dry clear, I just like it to be an eater so there's no rough edges. Clean up here. Get it down in here. There's some little pegs here. You can stick um, drill bits into. Okay, now the top. Now remember how tight the top fit before. So I'm going to put glue on all these top parts. Because this fit really snug. I don't think it needs a ton of glue. I'm going to start at one end. Do the middle, do the other end. Make sure everything's pushed down, pushed in. And see, this isn't going to want to cooperate, so I probably am going to put a dab of glue in this hole. Let me get a glue in there. Thought it was going to fit tighter than that. And then I'm just going to spread it around the circle. Then I'll put this in there. All right. See how well that's put together? Nice and sturdy, holding up. Oops, put a Q-tip in there. 
Now for the back, like I said, I'm going to put glue all the way around. And go all the way up here. And I'm going to sit this on here, make sure it's all squared. Hold it down. And you want to make sure it's square all around because these pieces are going to I want to slide together next to each other. Then I'm going to take some something heavy, or even better, carefully take it, turn it over, let its own weight hold it down. Again, making sure it's all square, pushed in together. Since you turn it over, you still might need a little heavy. Hmm. Oh. We'll use the box from one of my corner ones. There we go. And that is that. It's going to sit forward. Like that. The tools are going to be able to slide into it. Brushes slide into it. And I think that will look better than my stand-up ones. And easier to use. So there you go. There you have it. Very simple. It's not rocket science. Piece of cake. I highly recommend this hobby zone set. Let's see if I can move my camera on the fly. There we go. You've seen the pictures online. It all fits together real well. It's not that expensive. This new module costs $24. The ones with the drawers, all the six drawers cost more because there's more parts. The ones with the two drawers cost less. The corner units cost 15 bucks. So yeah, I do recommend it. It's a very nice system, very clean and orderly. And there you go. A little tool build to break up the monotony of everyday modeling builds. Thanks for watching. Turn around this way. Hobby Zone. I recommend getting them from Hobby Zone US or Hobby Zone Poland, depending on where you are in the world. Thanks for watching.